All right, guys, I've shown you a lot of videos about removing backgrounds and editing text and cropping and all kinds of things that you can do to images. And I want to kind of throw it all together into one video and make you guys a shirt design right here. Uh, now, the World Series is on. When I'm making this video, game one just ended. Uh, the Kansas City Royals uh, won. And as I was watching the shirt, there were a lot of things going around calling it uh, Take the Crown. Uh, the crown kind of being a play on the Royals. They have a crown in their logo, as well as the crown, the championship, whoever wins the title. Um, so I was like, you know what? Take the crown. That's I, That would make a nice, uh, a nice shirt, especially making some nice white text on a blue shirt. That uh, would be pretty easy to do. Uh, so let's kind of walk through... A bunch of things so over here at dollar photo club is where i found uh, an image and if we see here if you look for take the crown you're looking at google images i want to make sure that i wasn't going to get in trouble with copyright uh, so you see here the kansas city royals has four points on the top so i wanted to avoid anything um, with four points and you already see here on twitter people are talking about uh, take the crown uh, so there's a lot of easy ways to uh, to get this out there. Uh, and over here at Dollar Photo Club, you can search for crown. You see different things that come up. And so I'm looking for something doesn't have four points. And I settled on this image here. So I bought this image. So let's go to Photoshop CC. If you guys are using this one, if you're using something else, it might look a little different. And we're going to open up this, uh, this image that we downloaded. If I can find it quick. There it is. We're going to open up the JPEG here in Photoshop and it has a background so we got to get rid of that background uh, there's a few different ways you could do it you could crop just this white because uh, see here we have this down here this shadow that's not working with us uh, so you could do two different things I say you could just take this crop it down and then use the magic wand to delete the back or we can take all of this why is it giving me this weird circle sometimes? Uh, we can add this to the selection. Get rid of that. We can even add this to the selection. Now we've got the whole thing. Now we can take the inverse. Now I just have the part that I want. So I can Command C or I can copy, Control C, whatever you're using. And I'm going to make a new image. And we're going to do the same thing 3600 times or by 3600. And we're only going to use 300 dpi and now i can paste this crown in now it's really kind of big i want to make sure i have lots of room for text underneath so i'm going to command t to transform this and i'm going to hold down shift because i want to keep that same aspect ratio and i'm going to center it and i'm going to bring it up to the top just like this it's calling that the center huh I don't know. not really lined up perfect kind of like it about there so I'll double click to place it there now I need some text right so I'm thinking ahead I want white on blue so let's put in take this is way too big so let's make that smaller from the beginning let's go down to 72 uh, take enter the enter spell it right crown and you see over here it's just like in word or any uh, you know document editing uh, program it's over here on the left it's left justified so I want to highlight this I want to center it all right now it may not be centered for the entire document but I want the words centered on top of each other and I'm gonna take this down just kind of make it around the part that I want and here we have it now I want to change this color of course so highlight it all let's change this to white white as white I think I want this to be zero zero one hundred to be pure white and it's gonna be a little hard to see now on this transparent background. You could always put a background in. Uh, actually, let's do that. Uh, let's put in a new layer. Call it whatever you want. Now this layer is an order of what you're gonna see. So I want this layer to be on the bottom. I'm gonna take my magic wand, highlight the entire layer. You see it didn't go around the crown because I'm on an empty layer. And let's fill this let's fill it with a color let's just make it red just so i have a background okay so now i know what i'm working with and probably blue would have been a better choice <laughs> to see how the shirt's gonna gonna turn out uh, so let's go back to take the crown 
Now let's transform it and make it kind of as big as we can within this box and put it underneath uh, just like that. Uh, actually, yeah, this is kind of bothering me. I want this to be blue. <laughs> so we can change it, highlight it, fill it, make it color. Let's pick a nice blue. There. A little easier. So I got a better idea of what it's going to look like when it's all done. Uh, now, on this one, I want to use white on blue. Uh, if I wasn't, I like to have the, uh, the text in white. And I would put a, not this, you can certainly play with all these things. You can, uh, you can find some cool things by playing with these settings. We just want to put a stroke around it. And let's put it up at 25. You see in here now, this will work on a white shirt or a black shirt. Uh, light or dark by putting white text with a black outline around it. You could do it the other way as well. Black text with a white outline will give you the same uh, same effect, same options. Uh, so you see, it was just that easy, guys. We got an image, we cropped out and selected the part that we wanted, we brought it over, we transformed it, we centered it, we added some text. Um, that's really about it. And uh, you see, you probably got a little sneak before that I've already uploaded this take the crown shirt in blue it's waiting to be approved by amazon and uh we'll see if people want to order it if they can get it in time for the world series ends uh given the fact there's a little bit of shipping delay with uh with amazon so guys don't overthink it don't think you have to have this massively complex shirt this is three uh, layers of course before i upload this i need to one remove this layer and two change the canvas size to 15 by 18 and the last trick I'm going to show you is that these act uh, independently, these layers, but I can also hold Command or Shift and select more than one layer, and I can transfer them together. So if I thought that was a little low, I could bring it up without having to move each layer by itself. And maybe that's where I want it. And then I would save this with a transparent background to make sure that it looks good on the blue shirts. So that's as easy as it is, guys. I'm not some kind of Photoshop genius or expert, but I can play around with images and text, and I can pay attention to what's happening on the Internet, with pop culture, with sports. Of course, the World Series is on. Uh, it's not hard to, to realize what's going on in sports with sites like ESPN, especially the World Series. It's going to be on all the major news sites. And maybe there's something that you can pull away from the World Series that is not trademarked or copyrighted that you could make a shirt that people want to buy. So are people going to buy the shirt? I don't know. But for five minutes worth of work, I am willing to take a chance because let's look at it. Take the crown in shoes, in shoes, clothing, and jewelry has reclaimed the crown. This birthday crown, this other stuff. Look, guys, there's nothing, right? Now I put this video out there. You guys could see it and copy it. Uh, I really can't stop you. I really don't even mind. If you can make a better shirt than me, then you should get the sales. But uh, it's that easy to see something, take an idea, see if there's any competition out there, and decide if you want to invest the five to ten minutes of making a shirt to see what would happen. I know on this one, I very much want to. And once it's up, I'll probably go on Twitter and I'll reply to everybody who's tweeting Take the Crown with a hashtag and uh, say, hey, there's this great Take the Crown shirt on Amazon. Maybe that'll turn into some sales. So hope this uh, video kind of gives you some ideas, shows you how easy it is, gives you some confidence to use Photoshop, and uh, hopes, hope you guys make some great shirts.